Hey folks, Papa here, and it's time to help another beginner out and set him to the right path. We will check out one chicken leg who fortunately or unfortunately has been hit by the two starter dungeons bug. But glitch or not, we will set his sales regional boss with whatever we have to work with. We will start with this dungeon called Hurtmoor. We can immediately see a small trap hallway a normal level 3 den with some orc leveling equipment and see that he was uh, he is a thief player on his way raiding T2 a too big proving ground a food farm the basic crafting stations and the lovely placed mine oh, I can't let that go unchecked so as I said, I will design this one to be the attacking dungeon. What do we need? We need at least 10 Dark Elves. So we have to make room for those. Let's cut down some stuff. The proving ground is too big. This is, you just built a 3.3 one if you are really impatient like me. So. Still not big enough. Let's just add this one. So. Twelve tiles of guard post. We are, if we really need more tiles, we will just cut down one more tile from here. Then we have the tavern. As we will be training here, the tavern is not allowed to be too small so that we don't have to go level by level. The den needs to be 3.3 as well, so we have to stick with that. Workshop in Forge is nice, and I don't see an alchemist lab, so we will stick with those, but we still need room for a temple. Maybe we can even go for a 5.5 .5 farm. Let's see how we will do. We'll reshape this mine. Into a 5.51. Need another row. So. Everything else is bonus. I mentioned we need a bigger EC right at the start. Let's do it right now. So, so we can at least cover at some points all those basic upgrades that require you to have like 6,000 or more primordials at the same time. Like level 5 mine upgrade. However, you will need to fill those with storage increasers. Eight of them. So, but we still got a good amount of, of tiles to work. So. Don't care too much about the connection right here because you can always just plug in a storage room here and this elemental chamber like. There and you're fine for the time being until you hit more tiles. Keep in mind, the nodes will only spawn in these six tiles, respectively. But if you put like Ricketti cards here or Turbo Miners, you will be fine because those tiles are actually unused except for the room upgrade part. So, this we still have to place. However, at, at some point, we will need to have a level 3 library because it is a re requirement for the temple. Why do we need the temple? Because we want to level those Dark Elves. So let me borrow one tile here. To make it a 3.3 library. If you are done placing the, uh, the temple, 
you can just eradicate the library. It doesn't make any problems, but at some point we will have to, to use those nine tiles for the library. Am I missing something? Working shop. Nice. Forge. Nice. Storage room is okay. If you really find yourself lacking, you can go for 4.4, but because we have the glitch, you can just increase the storage on your second dungeon. So it's even safer from rep reprisals. The tavern with... Don't forget to pick up the dark nooks. Unless you're leveling, you don't need to plate them down. Still need the temple. Let's go with mine tiles first because they are... They give the least bonus to us. So we shall make this a temple. Let's take this color. In the beginning it's enough though if you go for 2.2 because you just need a level 2 temple if I remember correctly. What a bad color I picked. Those are our bonus tiles. I would like to put them at good use with a food farm. Let's see if we have enough. Because if you have the starter dungeon bug, you're kind of pressed to get even more XP. And it's a close call, but it will work. Well, with that, we even have all the food problems covered. However, the guard post should be located like... Let's place it like this. This is good. Always make the move as crappily as possible. We still have a mining tile left. We'll put it... It doesn't matter. So, we have a good farm, your food problems are solved. You can even make it like this. However, you are really short on tiles in this dungeon. Even if you downgrade this one later, which you might not want to do, because every time you reshape your temple, you will build a, a new library on level 3 again. So do, it, do as you please. We need the forge and the workshop, because the forge will actually craft the leveling gear you put in the temple for your dark elves. However, we also need the alchemist lab, but we won't, as you can see, we have no tiles. So we will have to do it in the second dungeon. Let's keep just like this for now. If you don't like the shape too much, just change a bit around. But keep in mind, you want, you have eight, six to eight tiles with your dark elves they can shoot at. So let's say dark elf is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is well in, in the maze. We cover it into each direction. So... Let's cover the furniture. For the forge I want you to put eight anvils and a lot of drafting tables. Elemental Confine should have its eight storage room increaser and you should remove your locked cellar out of your storage room and put in even more storage increaser as well. Your library is kinda... who cares about it? 